Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video I'm going to be configuring what's known as on-demand routing, or ODR. So what you need to know is that on-demand routing is a is a pretty unknown routing protocol that a lot of people don't know about, but what it'll do is it'll allow your router to to discover neighbors using the Cisco discovery protocol CDP and route between the neighbors. It's usually used in a simple hub and spoke topology where your spoke sites connect to your central hub and then your hub has on-demand routing configured and it can learn all the routes from the spoke sites. So it's a fairly simple protocol here, and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to show you how to set it up, how to verify the configuration, and what it does is it'll we'll also look a little bit at the details of ODR, what it does on the spoke sites when you have it configured, and what we'll do here is we will be we're going to be configuring inside of GNS3 we're going to have a simulated switch so we're going to call it the the host name here is going to be called the hub router and we'll throw in a couple of spoke sites here and we're going to be using a switch inside of GNS3 just a simple switch here as in access layer switch here just a very very simple configuration just one VLAN inside of this switch that connects to all these devices so we're just going to use Ethernet here as our media type to connect all these devices together again they're all We have four routers here, router 1, router 2, router 3, and router 4. And then we also have our ODR router, which is our hub router. Let's go ahead and for the case of the ODR lab, let's name these all. Let's all let's name these instead of just R1 through R4. We'll go ahead and name them spoke 1 through spoke 4. Let's try something new here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start these routers up and we will get going here and show you how to use and implement on-demand routing. So the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to set the idle PC value. Like a lot of you know already that are familiar with GNS3, the idle PC value will allow you to drop your CPU utilization if it is set correctly on your routers within GNS3. 